what's up guys hope you all are doing great in this video right here we'll be creating hangman one of my favorite games i love playing it as a kid and yeah even till now i still play it a lot if you're new to the channel please subscribe like the vid guys it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm so you know what let's get started what we need to do first is we need to actually create the word that we want to look for so in this case, we'll say word is equal to, and I'm going to call the word hangman. After we've created our word, we need to also create allowed underscore. I'll just call it allowed errors. I'll we'll set that to seven. After that, we need to do guesses. You could increase the allowed errors to maybe six, 10. It's your choice. We're choosing seven here. And then we set the guesses. We set that to a empty array. What we do next is we create a variable called done and we give it false. So this is going to actually power our while loop. So say while not done. What we want to do is we want to say for letters, so we're going to iterate in Word. And what we want to create here is we want to create actually the whole dash, dash, dash that you see, oh, you need to do seven words or you need to do five words. So that's what we want to create there. So we'll say if letter dot lower, so we can control the user input in guesses. And for that, we're going to print letter. And then we'll create this end and put an empty string right there. And then we'll have an else. We want to print an empty string with a, not an empty string, this dash right here. And end will be also an empty string. So right now, after the for loop, we just print this right here. So now that we've done that, what we need to do next is we need to actually say guess, we create a variable called guess, and that is going to be input. And we're going to use the string literal, say allowed guesses oh you know what allowed errors left and this you could for sure change it to maybe something different so put allowed errors and then we tell the user to actually make another guess and say another guess now that they've done that we'll say guesses dot append we'll say guess dot lower and after we've done that what we need to do next is we need to actually create a if statement and we'll say if guesses now, if guess dot lower is not in the word dot lower, why we're putting dot lower is in case you put a capital so we can control that and just make it a lowercase. We want the allowed guess, we want to actually decrement it. So if you guess wrong, we want to be able to reduce it to from seven to six to five, you understand? But if also allowed guesses is zero, that means you run out of guesses. So we're going to break, we're going to print um, we'll print game over, over you lost. Or you could even say you died. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. 
and now what we do is we also break when we break what we need to do is actually change done from false to true so now done is equal to true so the while loop can stop say for letter in words in word not words if letter is if letter dot lower is not in guesses then done is equal to false oh this should be in a string format but no way we can actually just take this right here and we'll put it inside here so we'll create a condition here when the whole thing is over we'll say if done then we want to print you found the word and then we'll say it was we put here the word and this needs to be an f string a string literal but else meaning actually you lost it's going to print this will also be an f string game over you're dead and then we'll say the word was and then we put the word inside so now if we try it it should work out just run it right here you can see we have the guesses and the word is if i put h if i put a we get a if i put g we get g m we get m and we get n and you can see it says you found the word it was hangman you see so it works out perfect let me try if i run out of guesses so if i try p it says now six if i try t if i try j as you see it's reducing five more allowed guesses if i try y and then we say p and then x and then Z, you can see it says, game over, you're dead. The word was hangman. So you can see how our game works perfectly. But the thing is, this is not playing a game if you put the word here. So we're going to create, uh, we're going to first, you can check right here. You can see right here, I have a word list.txt. This has a bunch of words, like I think almost a, more than a million words, different words. So from here, we're going to have to import random. So we'll import random so we can randomly choose from this list of words right here. So we import random right there. And what we need to do next is we'll say, we'll say word, we'll say with word, with open. So we need to open the file. And what file are we opening? We're opening word list.txt. And then we'll say R because we want to read. And then we'll say as F. Then we'll create a variable called words. And we'll set that equal to F dot read lines. Now what we need to set word to is word right now is going to equal random. This is where we use our random module. I will say choices. No, we'll say choice and then we'll put word words but what we need to also do is we need to make sure that it doesn't take the last one so we'll say we'll put this and say minus one 
so it doesn't take the space because there's space between each words. Now, what we need to do is we run it. I can see our word now is three. Before, you see, it's choosing randomly. I can stop it, I run it again, and now it's more. So we can see it's working. Try, probably gonna fill it. Oh, it starts with an F. A Y. Let me try an E. Okay, there is a E, C, no C, D. Wow, this is ending really bad. Okay. Oh, I do not know what this word is. G. Okay, we're getting there. Um, what? What word? Q. Wow, frightens. So that was the word. So we can see it works out perfect. I lost the game, but you know what? Try it out yourself, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all on the next one.